I'm uh, Chris Brown and I'm the superintendent of the Marcus Whitman Central School District. Sometimes people don't know where we are and it's our job to make sure that our students are able to compete with any other student. I don't care where they come from, but when they're sitting next to a peer in a college, in a career situation, in the military, I want everybody to know that our Marcus Whitman students are as competitive and can do all the things, if not more, than anybody else that they're sitting next to. And part of that is that community investment. It takes all of us to be able to make that possible, and, and we do. We have a staff member that's devoted to specifically helping us develop all of our instruction, and I think the district is constantly trying to find um, methods and materials that work best to meet our student needs. Every student is unique and we want to meet them where they're at to continue to, really the end goal is to graduate every student with the skills they need to go on and live successful lives. Our school has a solid focus on academics, but we also have an equal priority on social emotional learning and I think that that is very important. We're developing uh, future citizens that are going to hopefully remain in our community. That's right. I don't live in this district and I brought my daughter here to come to school to come to school here uh, because I knew she would get a high quality education. And the teachers always find um, the best way for you to learn the material and have fun while doing so. Our Future Farmers of America and agriculture programs are just uh, teeming with students and growth. We're a community where we're a large farming community. Our FFA program, we're very fortunate. Uh, we have huge numbers. We send a lot of students to national competitions to be able to not only compete, but to be able to learn the most recent technologies about how to run farms. Um, we are probably one of the only school districts in New York State to also have um, our own sugar shack on campus to do maple syruping. Uh, we're also unique in the sense that we have a separate property that's about 230 acres. It's our Marcus Whitman Outdoor Learning Campus, basically, and students from kindergarten, right, UPK, right through 12th grade, attend that campus and learn about ecosystems and they canoe and Camp. I've taken my class there multiple times. We are able to get community members in to do hands-on activities with them. The high school teachers will help out. The kids are really getting different experiences, which is great. It's different from the other schools and it's more fun. Some of the other investments that we've had obviously are capital investments that our community has been very generous with and we, we've got a state-of-the-art facility in our auditorium. It's a showpiece actually as well as our wellness center that we have in the upstairs of our high school. But our art and science wing have all been updated as well. Our music. Through our capital project we helped make uh, our schools better and like provided athletic facilities for the community and the students. So I just think it's how we always try and build each other up and make things better. It's a rural community, but we offer our students um, lots of opportunities. I think that's something that we take pride in, in giving all of our students many different choices so that they can figure out what they are passionate about. And if we don't offer something, we're finding ways to make that happen for them. One of the biggest investments that we make in the school district, I think, for the community is our food link distribution. Uh, we serve over 1,500 individuals every two weeks, which is great. We have student volunteers that help to give that food to people, as, as well as employee volunteers and community volunteers that, that help with that. You know, we have our own in-house food pantry now for our students who might be in need. That also includes clothing, uh, personal items, and then we're in the process of opening up a uh, full dental and healthcare center right here on campus. We are a community that comes together in times of need. We're always there to support each other, and you can really feel like the bond throughout the Marcus Whitman community. I think we at Marcus Whitman really take pride in representing this community. And that shows everywhere. That shows in our fine arts programs, shows in our athletic programs, it shows in their academic success, it shows in their FFA achievements nationally. What makes this district so special are the people, bottom line. We've been here long enough that we have students of students that we've had before and we actually have students that we've worked with that now work here. Um, I've been invited to graduation parties, I've been invited to weddings and to baby showers. So it's that whole full circle that we get to see our students grow through. We love the students that we work with, the families, and I've been fortunate enough to work in all three buildings, so I feel like I've really gotten to know 
most of the staff members. and It feels like we're a big family here. It doesn't matter what building you're in, what sports team you're coaching, or what organization or committee you're a part of. We really believe in positivity here, so even if there's a problem or something we're working towards, it's a team approach. When you're walking in the hallway, somebody's going to say hi to you, somebody knows you. I have kids that come up to me when I'm in the community and say hi to me that I, you know, I not I haven't had them as my students, but they know who I am. And I feel like that sense of community is just something that you can really get here, unlike bigger schools anywhere else. No matter what, I know Marcus Whitman always has my back. I'm Lily, and I have pride in the paw. 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 I have pride in the paw.